It's the dream of everyone who flies and belongs to a frequent flyer club, earning enough miles for a free flight to Hawaii or someplace exotic. But with the new year, you may find that trip getting even more out of reach. Using your frequent flyer miles has gotten tougher and tougher since the recession. But starting in February 2014, it's about to become even more difficult. Delta and United have announced changes to their frequent flyer programs that will require more miles for many destinations. On Delta, to get a saver seat to Hawaii, the lowest level, the requirement jumps from 40 to 45,000 miles. And the requirement for business seats to Europe rises from 100 to 125,000 sky miles. But from the doesn't that stink file, how it's more difficult than ever to get a low mileage seat. Airlines now sell more than 80% of all seats on their planes, so there are very few available at the low mileage level. Just try to find a 40,000 mile seat to Hawaii. You'll probably say, doesn't that stink? Call it devaluation or inflation. But the bottom line is your frequent flyer miles are not worth what they were five years ago. Bottom line, the skies are getting a little less friendly for frequent flyers. So now more than ever, it's important to plan that trip almost a year in advance, avoiding peak vacation times as much as possible. That way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, 9 on your side.